This is Sonetto, the chief assistant of the Foundation's timekeeper. My employee number is SF3800000080110 y Could you please register a visit to Ward 1525 for me? Please present your ID. Hold that crystal with your right hand until the color changes. Oh, okay. What is the shape of the sun? A sphere or a cube? A sphere. Which is edible? Rubber, cabbage, or carbuncle? Cabbage. Does the rain come down from the sky or the other way around? Can be both. You're good to go. Take these materials with you. The visitor guide is between the second and third page. Go in from the left, turn right twice, and take the lift. Keep walking and you will see the ward. I see. Thank you. Is there anything else I should know? Just leave the number out next time. Will you? Huh? The nurses seem busy here. The registration is also more rigorous than it was before. I wonder if this is because of the storm. Turn right again. Hmm? But there's only one way and it goes left. Did I miss any crossings? things. Mm hmm? So, here is a junction to the right. danger to the timekeeper. I will catch this person. Rehabilitation Center is established to provide effective medical services and trainings to the patients for their bodily functions to be restored. This center is managed by Laplace Scientific Computing Center. If you have any special requirements or have encountered any suspicious persons, please move to the ground floor lobby for help. If you are distant from the lobby, please press the yellow button next to the fire hose cabinets. The security on your floor will come to assist shortly. They're here. I don't see any cabinets. That's fine. If no help or assistance has come to you in time, you may take action to defend yourself. A free wake-up procedure will be administered on any unresponsive persons, if any. Good. Just what I need. The sanitary trolley is parked at the next turn. I've left the biggest garbage bag on it. Who are you? 
speak up. Why are you following me? Stop! You're not getting away. Whoever you are, may the peace be with us. Be prepared. I seldom work together with others, but this is not bad. <sighs> Just as what's been practiced countless times. The enemies don't seem to be in the habit of wearing gas masks. Forward! Left! Forward! The eagle's eyes! Ha! Target locked! Little gay. Just inside. The eagle's eyes. Left hand up. Now right hand up. Umbrella and a wall. <laughs> Forward. Stop. They're just little gay. The eagle's eyes. Rock, rock, rock! Change the world! Rock, rock, rock! Change the world! <gasps> Don't touch my bag! It's illegal. This is eagle. Target found. This has distance on. Lost! Take the offensive! Three hours, 15 minutes left. No. Matilda? It's you? I'm sorry. I... I thought it was someone suspicious, so... Sonneteer, and our outstanding graduate. I thought it was some acute mania patient getting out, waiting for my fancy transcranial magnetic stimulation therapy. Ah, oh, ça fait mal. Quoi? Sonneteer? How would I have anything to do with her? I'm Matilda Buanish, the top three students in school, the monitor assistant, and the speaker of graceful French. None shall forget my name after making the acquaintance of me. 
I didn't. But I guess no one will remember the third place. <laughs> Go away! Go! Don't stand in my way! Matilda, please take... <sighs> she just ran away like that. There's even garbage dust on her hair. I didn't know she was the one following me. I shouldn't have acted in haste. All right, get down to business. Zanetto, you are here visiting the timekeeper, right? Follow me. Okay. A little bird told me you went to visit Virgin. Is that right? Yes. How is she doing? Just like the other patients. Unconscious. Artificial somnambulism therapy shall be good for her. It's been four years since she became the timekeeper. She surely needs a break. Yes, and I have no other opinion about this. Madam Vice President, I'm here for another issue. The proposal of additional manpower submitted by the House of Integratus. I have given it consideration. It's not worth a committee hearing. Are you here to talk about dead plans? Yes, because I have the exact opposite view. Burton's suitcase will not be affected by the storm, just like the buildings in our headquarters. Which means she will soon be able to form a team, indirectly controlled by the Foundation. I suggest putting her in command of an independent autonomous unit. With enough support, they should soon become another reliable force of the Foundation. And it also facilitates our relationship with Burton. The people Virgin brought back with her. Who are they? Arcanists, who have stable personalities, good command over their arcane skills, and some social experiences. If you ask me, they are some pitiful exiles who lost everything in the storm. So desperate, horrified, and overwhelmed longing for something stable to hold on to. Burton is not here. Only the Foundation can give them what they want. But what can they give us in return? The innate arbitrariness of Arcanists are questioning our beliefs of mankind's supremacy because they have nobler blood. <sighs> of course the Foundation needs new blood. Especially those who are highly obedient and know the importance of order. That's why these poor refugees need no independent unit or autonomy. They need the guidance of disciplines, a teaching more comprehensive than what's been given to those naive children in school. I see. What you want is a group of dumb puppets. I'm always the optimist in the room, and you know that, Miss Z. This won't be so much of a dead plan if one day they can prove they are not some... dumb puppets. Elle qui était mal intentionnée. 
C'est elle qui m'a sauté dessus Je devais avoir l'air misérable quand je m'en suis sortie Je voulais juste lui dire que je lui ai lu dans la dernière divination Les amis qu'ils ont amenés sont peut-être en danger Et je ne sais pas quand Verta sera de nouveau consciente C'était plus ou moins une personne remarquable sans compter que c'est la responsable de son éton maintenant. Mais je ne sais pas si je dois être en colère ou triste pour ça. Son éton doit être terriblement inquiet pour elle. Si seulement je pouvais aider. Mais ça fait longtemps qu'on ne s'est pas vu. Si je veux en pousser, ils sentent bon. <rire> ah Qu'est-ce que je viens de dire Boucle-la Tais-toi Tu es Mathilda, la personne qui va battre les meilleurs de la classe Scan. Ah Who are you Yeah, your skull has fallen. I was picking it up for you. What are you timber chambering about? Are you a patient here? Where's your assigned care worker? I saw it. I saw it all. Bodies breaking down into pieces. Into tetrahedrons and cubes. Your head is a pretty octahedron. I can't let your octahedron fall to the ground, too. Be careful with your ears. Myself. See? This is my orb. Come up. Touch it. What's its shape? This is. I'm obliged to take you down. May the peace be with us. This is what's been practiced countless I times. seldom work together with others, but this is not bad. I 
believe in you. My sword sharp. Forward! So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Sempre caro mi fu questa cosa. Target locked. Was 15 minutes left. No, nothing. Let's move on to the next. The storm took our friend from us. In fact, we all knew this would have happened, but it took place too soon, caught us all off guard. And there were only clothes left. That's right. I've looked up the directory of Arcanists in the U.S. in 1929. None of their family is on it. She was Greco's biological daughter. Schneider was a pseudonym. I haven't worked out the reason behind this, but she was indeed... a human who casts arcane skills. Mm. Thanks for sharing. It could help with my disease analysis. Timekeeper has been diagnosed with type 2 trauma. Do you know what that means? I don't know much about psychology. It means she had suffered the same traumatic experience repeatedly. Even so, she showed no behavioral or cognitive impairment. Back then, as we held her down and put the helmet on her, she even advised me in an extremely calm manner. I agree with your judgment, but it's just for this time. She was the bellwether of the breakaway incident after all. I'll say she's been well behaved this time. I, I thought Timekeeper is receiving treatment for her low spirit, but you said you held her down. Oh, that's just another description of the method used for the same purpose. The aim was to ensure Vertin was unconscious and taken back. That's the direct order from the Vice President of the Committee, Constantine. The order from on high was given on the premise of rational thinking and consideration over pros and cons. You are not questioning the reasoning of mankind, are you? I am not. Sharing the same set of values is the reason I'd like to share these interesting details with you. Of course, if you were a pureblood human, I would appreciate you more. Vertin's magnetic field always maintains a nuanced balance. She barely dreams proactively. So I have to deploy different dreams to search for the very first dream which reflects the source of her trauma. How much longer is this therapy going to take, in your view? However long it takes. As long as I receive a new order. <sighs> so none of these have been applied for the Timekeeper's well-being? Yes. What's wrong with you, Sonetto? <sighs> I... I don't know. Sorry, I overreacted. I don't feel quite myself today. I can't tell what's wrong. Perhaps I ate something bad for breakfast. Go back and rest if you're feeling unwell. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thank you. Please... Take good care of the timekeeper. I'll be on my way.
Hmm. There will be some differences. Don't worry. Witnesses only Are you ready a second to be before. blinded? The star falls towards the sun as the apple drops to the ground. Each moment, now night. Which matters more, knowledge or s- In 388 BC, standing in the garden paths of Athens, there was an academia of philosophers. Thirty-six human ideologists presented that day were thinking about the ever-present old question, just as you are. What passes knowledge? What maintains the world's balance? Students, don't forget the exhortation from the philosophers. Heritage, honor, rationality, responsibility. This will be your lifelong pursuit. May the peace be with us. May the peace be with mankind. Last year, 45% of our graduates were chosen to work in the St. Pavlov Foundation headquarters. A particular excellent student has even been accepted by the House of Integratus. The rest of the children, too, have become frontline investigators, staffs a foundation office in other countries, or professional soldiers dedicating themselves to the magnificent cause of mankind. For thousands of years, we have taken in countless young arcanists from workhouses and foundling hospitals and have raised them to be outstanding students and morals in every industry. Soon, you will also be the backbone in preserving world order and... Sorry, I just wanted to see you clearly, since your speech was so wonderful. Burton, you are the youngest child we've ever taken in. You were just a month old when you came to the school. And by now, you've spent almost 12 years in here. I'd like to hear your thoughts since you are the most unique child in the school. Whatever the question or opinion is, I will respond with an answer. Any question? 
Of course. As you wish. Hmm. What is the storm, sir? May I ask, how much further do we have to go? What? Till we get to the guardhouse. We're almost there. Don't worry. Okay. As your punishment, no dinner will be served tonight. You will stay here until tomorrow. Someone picks you up at noon. Okay. I won't ask you how you knew that word, but you have to promise that you won't mention it again. I promise. All right, here we are. This is not some friendly place. The arcane skills I taught you before may help. I hope you have paid close attention in that class. Get inside. Think carefully, or next time it won't be just confinement. This is... The Jameer one. So cool. It said that the Shamirs are marvellous creatures. Even King Solomon searched for them for years. They're incredible engravers. More skilled than the greatest craftsmen among humans. They can engrave on leaves, metal and gemstones, build a sacred temple or destroy a giant vessel. Now, they've become tools for punishing naughty kids. Oh, it hurts. There are at least a few hundred Shamirs here, and they're all moving towards me. The instructor did teach two incantations to repel insects. Shamirs are not any ordinary worm. They were in fact a kind of advanced critter. The elementary arcane skills won't work on them. Let alone there are no signs of my arcane abilities up till now. Maybe. I'm not an arcanist at all. Ouch! Please don't bite me two times in a row. No. Stop. I have to focus now. There must be a way I can think of. Water keeps dripping down from the side of the ceiling near the window. But it hasn't rained for days. Here is a thin layer of mud on the ground. Judging from its volume, it's not likely to be brought in by other children who were once here for confinement. The dripping water has made the ground uneven. For these tiny ones, these descending areas are like impassable gulfs. Could the ground be left like this so as to slow down the worms and give us the time to cast incantations? But why would they gather around my feet? Hmm. This is... Their route has been planned already. Walk. Oh, so that's the case. 
The legend says that the way to store Shamir worms is to wrap them in wool and store them in a container made of lead. Which means the wall of this room should be made of... This is poisonous to them. Well, to me as well. Everything I need. Grains to lure them and wolves to drag them away. The solutions are more than I expected. All right, let's move. Expel them to the corner. Be prepared. See me, you can't see me. Start me up! They're just start me up! Rock, rock, rock! Change the world! Nice! Woohoo! Release! Peace and love! They're just little games. The eagles are. Ha! Left hand up. Now right hand up. Uh, don't touch my bag. Start me up. Affirmative. Oh, I can't agree more. Woohoo! Release. Extraction of the rainbow. A ravishing rainbow. Don't worry. Weightlessness only. They're just Don't little worry. Gay. Are you ready to be blinded? Woohoo! Release! The star falls towards the sun as the apple drops to the ground. Are you ready to shake? Woohoo! Release! Little games. Forward. Affirmative. Rock, rock, rock. Change the world. Target locked. White, or say all colors. Three hours, fifteen minutes left. No, nothing. the battle under control. They're just little games. Stop me. They're just little games. Rock, rock, rock. Change the world. Left hand up. Now right hand. I can't agree more. Nice! Three hours, 15 minutes left. No.